Hello, I'm Brian Stuckey from Exos Digital. We're going to talk about AMX controllers in this video. If we've integrated your video room, coaches' offices, and meeting rooms, chances are you have some of these devices in your system. What we're going to do is we're going to discuss exactly what they are and how they work. Now, if we look at the LEDs on the front of the AMX from left to right, the first LED is the link activity light. Now, I don't have this unit connected to an Ethernet network, so you'll notice that there's no light on. But this light becomes active when an Ethernet cable is connected and a network connection is established. The LED will also blink as the controller receives data packets. So if you're unable to control any of your devices from a touch panel, check this light to see if the controller is connected to the network. The next LED is the status light. You'll notice that on my controller, the LED is blinking once a second. This means that the Amex controller is not detecting any problems at all. And if this LED is blinking in any other way, it probably means the controller isn't programmed or doesn't have an IP address. You'll definitely want to call support if the status LED is not blinking like this one. The next LED is the output light. It's a red light and blinks whenever the controller transmits data, such as changing channels on your DSS units or telling the DVD deck to fast forward. And just to the right is the input LED. It's a yellow light and blinks whenever the controller receives data from a device like the touch panel. These LEDs are very helpful when troubleshooting. So for example, if you're trying to tell your DVD deck to record and it's not working, check to see if these lights are blinking when you send the command from the touch panel. The other LEDs on the front panel of the controller correlate to the various devices you may have connected to the Amex. Looking at the next set of LEDs, these transmit and receive indicators are for any devices that are controlled with a serial cable. You'll notice that there are seven sets of lights and they blink whenever a signal is being transmitted or received from a device. And again, these lights are helpful for troubleshooting. So if we have a projector plugged into port 3 and we tell it to turn on, the red transmit LED for port 3 should blink. And if the projector acknowledges the command and sends a message back to the Amex saying, I am powered up now, then the yellow LED will blink. So these LEDs are really just showing you when the devices are talking to each other. And with this particular Amex controller, we can have up to seven serially controlled devices plugged in. And to the right of these LEDs, we see a set of indicator lights for relays, which are typically used for projector screens. And we have a set of lights for IR or infrared devices, such as televisions and decks. You'll notice that there is only a red LED for these devices, and that's because the Amex only sends commands to these devices. It does not receive any feedback from them. We can have up to eight relay controlled devices and up to eight IR controlled devices plugged into this controller. And that's a quick and easy introduction to Amex controllers. In future videos, we'll talk more about the controllers and the touch panels too. I'm Brian Stuckey. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.